Welcome to Listen Up, your daily dose of intermediate English listening practice. My name is Karen and I'm your host. Remember, if you want to read along with the audio, go to the English as a Second Language page of my website, onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. Let's get started. Today's episode is called Homes for Nature. In our fast-paced world, we often forget about nature, but the Royal Society for the Protection of Birds, or the RSPB, knows how important it is to create homes for animals and protect nature. That's why they started the Homes for Nature campaign on this day, 23rd of June, 2013. The campaign encourages people to take care of the environment and help animals. The Homes for Nature campaign believes that if we provide good homes for animals, we can help them survive and keep our environment balanced. As cities grow, natural spaces disappear. The RSPB wants to help people make their homes and gardens safe for animals. This way, we can bring back the habitats that animals need to live and grow. The main goal of Homes for Nature is to inspire people to do small things that make a big difference for animals and nature. The RSPB gives advice, resources and educational materials to help people take care of the environment. They want everyone to know how to help birds, insects, hedgehogs, bats and other animals. With the right knowledge, we can all do our part to protect them. One important thing in the Homes for Nature campaign is making outdoor spaces safe for animals. Even if you have a small garden or just a balcony, there are many things you can do to help animals. Planting flowers and shrubs that are native to your area, putting up bird houses and feeders, and leaving wild areas in your garden are simple ways to attract animals and support biodiversity. The campaign also wanted to bring communities together. They wanted people to work together to create safe spaces for animals. Community gardens and green areas in cities can become homes for wildlife. By working as a community, we can have a bigger impact on protecting animals and our environment. Education is an important part of the Homes for Nature campaign. The RSPB wants people to understand why it's important to take care of nature. They provide materials, workshops, work with schools and community groups. They want everyone, young and old, to know how they can help animals and create safe places for them to live. Since it started, Homes for Nature has made a big difference. Many people and communities have changed their space to help animals. By creating Homes for Nature, we not only help animals survive, but also enjoy seeing them in our own environments. The campaign also wants people to understand that we all have a responsibility to take care of nature. When we work together, we can make a big impact. Our cities can become better places for both animals and people to live. Thank you for listening. I hope you enjoyed learning about what happened on this day in history and practicing your English listening skills. Look out for a new episode each day to keep practicing. Thank you.